We completed the rig today. This is a 2021 Toyota Tacoma, and we have a Yakima road shower on top of our ladder rack. So check this out. Now I can camp wherever I want, but I have pressurized water wherever I want to go. So I can go wherever I want and still have some of those nice convenience of home. It just makes overlanding a lot more convenient and fun. Let's not let the adventure prevent us from taking care of us, our gear, or our pets. No more dirty paws inside your vehicle. You can take care of that, wash them off, and then let them on in. Also with the bikes, they get pretty muddy. You can wash them off because it's always easier to wash them off right away rather than wait. You're camping, you're gonna eat sometime. Those dishes, wash them off with this. For you on the coast, if you got all that salty gear, whether it's fishing rods or a surfboard, you can wash it off so it stays nice and clean. It warms up while you're out having fun and when it's time to clean up, you have a nice warm shower to get nice and clean so you can sleep wherever you wanna sleep, just like you do at home. All you need is water, you fill it up, you pressurize it up, and then you're ready to go. The options are truly endless with the road shower. It just brings all those conveniences that you have at home, wherever you wanna go on your vehicle. That's the main gist with the road shower. There's a lot of things that I love about it, but there are some things that I don't really like about it. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Go over the things I like and the things I don't like. So stick around. Oh. One thing I like is the cap. When you take it off, the hole is big enough for your standard garden hose to go in. If you do misplace this cap, we have an exact replacement like this. But there's also one that's a hexagonal shape that is gonna allow you to use a tool if you can't really get the grip strength to tighten this up fully. One thing that they throw in with the kit is this hose with the nozzle and an elbow fitting. I have it pressurized now, but this right here is a quick disconnect. So it's very, very easy to swap stuff out. So it does come with one elbow and the tube, but there is another port on the other side if you wanted to add something else. You are gonna have to buy it separately if you want that. But here is how the quick disconnects work. And it's already pre-wrapped with your plumbing fitting, so it's not gonna leak. That's nice. And it's just gonna be on the other side of the road shower. And so you can have a nozzle right here, but you can also have the shower head attachments as well. Two different sizes with the shower heads. You can get a 19 inch long one or a 30 inch long one. Just depends on where the tank is on your setup. I do recommend getting another elbow fitting so you can put the shower on there as well. I do love the disconnect. It's very, very nice and convenient. We are gonna need pressure to utilize the shower and the nozzle. You can either do it with a manual bike pump or you can use an electric pump. I like to work smarter, not harder. This is gonna fill it up a little bit quicker. The goal here is to take this up, connect it to our little Schrader valve, just like on your bike tires, and get the PSI anywhere between 50 and 65 PSI with the seven gallon tank that gives you about six minutes of shower time. Unlike a bike tire, if we overpressurize this thing, it's not going to blow because we have this little check valve right here, which is going to allow pressure to go through once it exceeds 50 to 65 PSI. Depending on the rig and what you plan on doing with this nozzle, right now we have the perfect amount of length to be able to spray off our bikes back here, but that all just depends on where you put the tank up on your vehicle and what side you put the hose on. The hose is 52 inches long. We have some adjustments on this. When we tighten it up all the way, it's gonna be really, really spread out like that. But then we can loosen it up and make it a nice stream if we wanted to really condense all that water in one spot. 
For stowing the hose away, what I recommend, quick little tip, is we're gonna cut off the pressure to the hose. We're going to relieve the hose of all of its pressure so it's a little bit more flexible. And we have three different points, these little plastic pieces right here, to put it away. We have an extra little hook and loop right here for a little bit of added security. Three different sizes. This is the seven gallon. We also have a four gallon and a 10 gallon. I would go with the 10 gallon because I go on longer trips, but more water means it's gonna be a little bit heavier. If you want a lighter rig and you're going on shorter trips, the four gallon would be perfect. The whole tank is made of aluminum. You don't have to worry about it rusting away. And the paint that they put on top of it is gonna draw in a lot of heat. So we had it outside on a 70 degree day and it got up to about 93, 97 in about two hours. But if you are on a really hot day, it's gonna get hot pretty quick. You're gonna get a set of mounting brackets that have a little piece of foam underneath so it's not going to scratch up the underneath of your bars. But you're gonna get two different bolts. We're gonna slide in this little track. So this is gonna be for the skinnier rails that you may have, like a factory rail system but we have it on the Yakma HD bars, which are a little thicker, so we use the taller bolts. This can be mounted either down on bottom, but there's another track on the back end of this, so that's gonna be useful pretty much if you have the Yakima ladder rack system. This is the outpost, or if you have the taller version of the outpost, you can put the sidebars on here and mount it on the side if you're using your roof for more accessories. All you need to tighten it up is a half inch socket to get it nice and tight. And the cool thing about this is right here is a locking mechanism. This is gonna deter any type of theft. So if you're at the campsite and you leave your rig for a while while the water is heating up, you can go ahead and take your key and rotate it. And notice how it comes up like that and it's not gonna be able to rotate at all. We're gonna have one on this side and one on this side for extra security. Those are a lot of things that I like about it. There is a lot of them, but comparing this to any of the other options you may see online, I think this is the highest quality of all of them. But now let's go over some of the things that I don't really like about it. Since the valve is on the side and not on the bottom, there is gonna be a little bit of water left in there. Ideally, we're on a level surface to where we can get most of the water out. But if we are leaning to one side where the valve that the water is coming out of is on the higher end of it, you might leave a little bit more water in your tank. Another thing is the pressure drops off depending on how much water you really have in there. If it's completely full, water doesn't compress near as well as air. So that's something to kind of think about. That's why I really do recommend an electric pump so it's super quick and easy to repressurize whenever you're showering. You're gonna wanna repressurize after every single shower, I would think, especially if you have multiple people showering. This is gonna be a quick kind of shower. You're not gonna be in there singing songs and staying in there for six to seven minutes. Just get in and get out. One requirement to have the road shower on your rig is some crossbars, whether it's a ladder rack or a roof rack. So if you don't have those, it might be a little bit bigger investment, but if you already do, grab the road shower and you're good to go. And that's pretty much it. If you want to take your Tacoma wherever you want, have a tent and have a shower to bring all those nice necessities from home with you, the Yakima Road Shower is gonna allow you to do that. That's pretty much it for a look at the Yakima Road Shower on our 2021 Toyota Tacoma.